The true secret is how on earth are they going to continue this series? It's not very good, is it? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Secrets of Dumbledore, the third film in the Fantastic Beasts series. Sorry for having absolutely no reviews for the last while aside from the Supernatural ones. I'll, I'll do a video talking about it. It's been very, very busy for me the last few weeks. I was able to go out and see this film more so out of obligation than anything else, and I feel that I got a kind of an obligatory sort of delivery in terms of this film. In terms of how it stands up to the last two movies, I do think it makes some improvements. I do think that the pacing is definitely taking a bit of a more positive turn in terms of how the film progresses, how the plot is played out, especially after the, the last film, but it also is probably one of the most generic, very producer-like Harry Potter-esque movie experiences that we've had in the entirety of the franchise. What a load of rubbish! The film follows Newt Scamander once again being thrown into these movies. However, I will say that his involvement via the animals actually does make more sense in terms of the animals actually having a circumstance in terms of the plot. We start with him finding this animal that Ezra Miller, who funnily enough, even though his character is supposedly a bad guy in this movie, he's less malicious in this film than he is in real life. It's all about the mysticism and the complete purity of this animal that Grindelwald wants, who is now played by Matt Mikkelsen's this time. I am now waiting for the fourth movie where Mads will be swapped out with Paul Giamatti. Pathetic. The relationship between Dumbledore and Grindelwald is definitely shown a lot more in this film, really prevalent to their history, who they are, and the, the past and the connection that they have via the blood thingamabobby. I'm apologies, I could not remember what the name of it was because I struggled to care. And then we get some characters coming back into this movie. Mr. Kowalski, who honestly is the only reason why I'm watching these movies, is this guy. He went from being the character who I thought was going to be a complete throwaway in the first movie to being the main standpoint for a lot of people. And despite literally having his memory wiped, cast out of the movies twice, he keeps on coming back because he is the best part of these movies. I did like Jude Law as Dumbledore. I feel he does a good younger impression of the character that we have seen um, over the last few years. Mads, I find, is just kind of channeling what he did for Hannibal, except obviously, you know, less Edie. Do you ever stop eating? Oh, I'm hungry. He still does have some malicious moments in it. Ezra's just there, to be honest. I don't think he even understands how his character is still in this movie, even though he clearly died in the first one. But the big, big thing that I was looking for in this movie was seeing how the pacing and the story was going to be progressed. Not only in terms of just JK's involvement, considering everything that's going on with her, but the fact that they brought Steve Close back. And this guy was the one who adapted all of the Harry Potter books, aside from Order of the Phoenix into film form. He was sorely needed after the second movie. I said that he was needed for the first movie. The first movie got by kind of on happenstance. He makes the story a lot more slipstream. He makes it very simplistic. He doesn't have a lot of moving parts and all these strange conspiracies and all these backwards characters and all these uh, little hidden thingy bobbies. Very out of touch, very out reaching kind of references to previous characters in the other novels and whatnot. There are a few of those in this movie, but they're much more welcome. They're far less forced. They actually kind of matter to the plot and there's not a lot of them, which also to say there's not a lot of plot in this movie. It's two hours long and you could summarize it into three different scenes, one of which doesn't even need to happen in my opinion. It just kind of happens for the sake of filling in the plot line. Something happens to one of the characters and Newt has to go and save them and there's this funny little bit with animals and weird crabby things. <laughs> it's actually probably the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in any of the Harry Potter movies and any of the Harry Potter universe films. I mean, they all kind of pass it off as comedy. And guys, this is, this is pretty fucking barbaric. That's totally barbaric. Overall, is it worthy of making this fucking series five movies long? I still say no. I don't know what they're gonna do with the next movie, aside from have it be a movie where the bad guys win again, because that was what the last one was. Even though this one kind of just rinses and repeats a lot of what happened in the first one, while 
Also, very necessarily correcting a lot of the things that happened in the second movie. And is that what the fourth one's gonna be? It's just gonna then kind of turn the heads again somehow. Like, we all know how the story is gonna end. Did we really need to take five movies to get there? We might even not even get those movies. Warner Brothers right now is sitting on this, waiting to see how this movie is received before they even continue on with the fourth and fifth film. They are literally sitting and waiting to see what happens. We may never get a visual ending of this saga, and to be honest, I wouldn't care. Honestly, don't you two read? So in the end, I'm going to give The Secrets of Dumbledore a 3 out of 7. It is a passable movie. It is far better than the last one. If I gave the last one a 3, I apologize. I can't remember shit that happened in that movie. It should have been a 2. This movie is okay. It is still not really justifying its existence, but it certainly is a lot better designed film than the last one, if be it incredibly generic. But those are my thoughts on this movie. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and like to see what you have to say. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.